Yes, yes, I'm back. After about a month of not filming videos like this, I decided to start up again and continue to post these types of videos. During that time that I wasn't posting, I was thinking, I was really trying to think about what I want to do and what I want to kind of give you guys and what do I want to accomplish in my own life. And to be honest, I still haven't really come up with a solid groundbreaking solution yet. So I decided to start up again, start making these types of videos, talking about cool things that I learned, cool things that you can implement in your life that will help your life whether that is what I learned throughout the week or what I learned while reading a book. And if it's from a book, I'll tell you the book. And hopefully I'm adding value to your life and providing benefit in some way, shape or form. So if you have any things that you think that I should talk about or something that I should do differently or suggestions or something, I would love to hear it down below in the comments. I'll be responding to every single one of your comments. And also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so that you get notified every time I make a new video that will add value to your life. A few people have asked why I make these videos and there's a few reasons. The first one is to get out of my comfort zone. I have learned over the past year that the only way to grow as an individual is to get out of your comfort zone. Do things that are uncomfortable. Do things that you're scared to do. The first time I put myself in front of a camera, I was so scared. It took me a very long time to create my first video. Now it still takes me a while and I'm still, I still feel like I'm uncomfortable in front of the camera, but it's getting a lot easier. So that's the first reason. The second reason is to prove that if you consistently do something day in and day out over time, although you don't, you may not seem successful week by week, but over time, it may take a year, it may take two years, it may take five years. Over time, you will get good at doing that. So whether that is making videos like I'm doing or learning guitar or going to the gym or eating healthy, over time you will get better. The key is to be consistently doing something. That's why New Year's resolutions don't work as well as people think they do because December comes and they're like, oh shoot, what do I wanna change? I wanna start going to the gym every single day. But when that comes, they're not used to that cycle so they quit within a month. So February comes and they're done. But if you consistently do something and work your way up to working out every single day, over time, it becomes a habit and it becomes a lot easier to do. It becomes like something that's just in your daily routine. But the key is you have to take action on these things you want to accomplish. It doesn't help for you to just talk about them or to contemplate them in your mind. You have to get them down on paper and strategize how you're going to do them and then take action on them. It doesn't matter how many times you say I'm going to eat healthy or I'm going to start going to the gym. If you don't actually start going to the gym and eating healthy, you're not going to see any results. These action steps don't have to be big either. They can be tiny things. If you want to start running, you can start by walking a mile a day and then once you kind of get comfortable with that, start running. Try to run as far as you can. And want the moment you get tired, just walk. That's all you have to do. And over time, you will eventually increase and be able to run a lot longer, probably a lot farther than you ever thought you could.